Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I want to share with you 10 completely new outfits that I've never worn before, restyling some of the items that are already in my wardrobe. It's pretty likely if you've seen my past videos, you've seen some of these pieces styled up into different outfits already. And today I'm just building on that and creating some more outfits with what I have in my wardrobe. I feel like sometimes I have a bit of tunnel vision when it comes to styling the pieces that I wear all the time. So I like to go onto Pinterest just to get some new ideas some fresh outfits that I may not have thought of otherwise. In this video, how I'm going to format it is that I'll show you my inspiration photos first, and then I'm gonna talk through the actual outfits that I created based on the inspiration. Outfit one is inspired by these two photos I have on the screen. Both of the photos show a really beautiful cream or white colored dress, styled with a really vibrant pop of color in the bag. I adore the first outfit because of the silhouette of the dress, and I also really like the bright, vibrant pop of red. But I also include the second photo because red is quite specific and if you don't have a red bag, you can definitely opt for something in brown instead, which gives a similar kind of vibe. I decided to recreate these outfits with this little set from And Lover Stories. I think that even though these are separate, once you have it on, it does look like a summer dress, which is why I'm using this set. It's also a really voluminous cut that really fits with that first inspiration photo. In my first outfit, I styled it with my little APC bag, which is in a deeper red color compared to the inspiration picture. It didn't have that same vibrancy, so I just added in a couple of rings to give a bit more color to the outfit. I also pair it with some pretty simple black slides, similar to the black sandals that she is wearing. I feel like I've definitely worn things like this in the past, but I don't think I've worn this exact combination. So I like how simple this outfit is to recreate. In my second variation of this outfit, I decided to go for my Acne Misubi bag, which is very similar to the bag that she has on. And brown is usually what I consider a neutral, but for this outfit, I feel like it really acts as a pop of color because the rest of the outfit is just completely white. My second outfit is inspired by this really beautiful outfit with a white off-the-shoulder dress, a really nice straw hat, and then just some really simple, minimal black accessories. So this outfit is super, super chic, but it's also very elegant, and it gives a completely different vibe with the white dress compared to my last inspiration photos. I felt like the off-the-shoulder effect was really important in creating this elegant look, and I couldn't find anything in my wardrobe that was too similar. So once again, I decided to recreate it with separates instead, and I wear this off-the-shoulder white top tucked into the same skirt that I showed before. I feel like the combination of the two pieces gives a very similar vibe to the dress that she's wearing. I really like the black accents she has in her outfit. I really didn't need a belt in mine because it was separate to begin with. So I decided to add a little mini black bag to this look. I finished the look off with some nude shoes just to keep things really minimal. And I was super happy with how this outfit turned out. You'll see that the bucket hat I decided to go for is a lot more trendy than what's in the inspiration picture. I would have preferred something a bit more elegant like the straw hat, but we're just working with what I have in my wardrobe and I'm really happy with it because this is slightly different to how I would have otherwise worn the two pieces and it just gives me an extra look that I can reach for in my wardrobe. I decided in my next outfit to use a straw bag instead so we still have that texture in the outfit Instead of the hat, it's just in the bag. In this outfit, I really wanted to add back the straw detailing because that's the one item that I was really missing in my first outfit. In the second variation, I really wanted to add this back to give you another look based on the same photo. In my third outfit, I was really inspired by this outfit Alexa Chung wore and it's a gorgeous outfit of a navy sweater. She has on a midi skirt and some Converse shoes. What I liked most about it was the black, brown, and navy combination. I really love these three colors together and I feel like she wears it really well in this outfit. In my second photo, it's a little bit more Korean street style inspired. And the reason why I was drawn to this photo was because I feel like I have all of the pieces that she's wearing. So I definitely feel like I could really easily recreate this outfit. And it's a little bit different to how I would have normally worn those pieces. But I think that's the fun about recreating some Pinterest looks. So in my two outfits I recreated, firstly we have a navy sweater from Uniqlo. And this is a really light knit, but if you live somewhere quite warm, you can obviously swap it out for like a navy tank top, a navy t-shirt, 
instead. I tucked it into a black midi skirt and then I just paired it with my black converse. This outfit is pretty typical for me, but I wouldn't normally wear black converse with this outfit. And even though I have black converse, I actually don't wear them as much as I could. So this outfit just gave me an opportunity to style those up in a different way. You'll see that I also reached for my acne masubi bag. As I said before, the biggest inspiration I wanted to take from the photo is a pairing of the black, brown, and navy. I just love these three colors together and I try to recreate it in my own outfit. Let me know down below if you guys have a color pairing that you really, really like. For me, definitely one of my favorite color combinations is this black, brown, and navy combination that I always just love the look of. In my second look, I was experimenting and taking some inspiration from the photo that is of Korean street style. As you'll see in the cutaways, I got very, very close to recreating her entire look. So starting with the green sweatshirt, my one's from Zulu and Zephyr, and it's super oversized, which I just threw on top of the black skirt. I do a little bit of a front tuck because otherwise it was just a little bit too long and too baggy, even for the oversized look we're going for. I style it with some black sneakers like what she has on, and then just a little mini black bag similar to the one that she's wearing. This is an outfit that is not flattering, but I really like the vibes of. It's very thrown together, oversized, it's kind of cute, it's honestly something that I would feel super comfortable wearing when I'm running errands or just doing something very casual. I feel like I always know when the outfit isn't going to be popular, and I feel like this is one of them. But I had all these pieces and I definitely wanted to give it a try. I feel like because we all have different personal style and different body shapes, this is an outfit that could work on some people and worth a try. In my fourth outfit inspiration, I'm super inspired by these two photos where they restyled the white shirt in a slightly different way. I feel like this makes the white shirt, which is something that is super timeless and classic, into something that is a little bit more trendy for the summertime. It's also something that I'm more likely to wear on holiday than I am around the city. It is super chic and I wanted to give it a try myself. In the first inspo pick, obviously I love the way that she's worn the white shirt, but I also really like the color palette she's gone for, so the white, the light blue, and the red. I think just looks so good together. So that was something that I was definitely inspired by in this photo. In the second outfit, it's a little bit more classic and timeless, with the black slip as well as the tie shirt. I do slightly prefer the vibes of the first photo, but the second photo was really easy to recreate, and once again, I felt like I had a lot of the pieces already, so I could recreate the look um, as well. Because in the first outfit, the color palette is something that I was really drawn to, I decided to reverse the pieces because I didn't really have blue trousers in that color. I went for a blue shirt instead and then I styled it with a pair of white or cream colored trousers and I added an orangey red scarf to my bag. I would have loved to have styled it with something a bit wider on the trouser but within this color palette I just didn't really have anything of that silhouette but that would definitely have made this outfit look a lot better and a lot more chic in my opinion. What I really like about tying the white shirt or the blue shirt in my case is that you have so much flexibility with it so you can definitely crop it up a lot and then wear it with some high-waisted trousers if you were on vacation, at the beach, um, on holiday. But you can also tie it a little bit lower down if it's just normally out and about. And then you can also just wear it loose, of course, in a really casual way. So there's so much versatility there and that's what I really like about this outfit. In my second look, I wear my black slip dress and I just tie a really voluminous white shirt over the top. My white shirt is super, super voluminous because I actually don't have anything in a more classic cut. I feel like I'm much more likely to wear the first variation of the outfit compared to this one. This one, I just don't really know where to wear it to. Because of the black and white color palette, it almost feels a little bit too dressy for when I'll wear a shirt like this, um, tied up. So I just wouldn't know where to wear it, but it is a cute look. In outfit five, we are playing around with color. And I saw this outfit on Pinterest that I was incredibly inspired by. She's wearing a head to toe tonal blue outfit, and she's got some green and like purple accessories. As much as I love it, I don't really see myself wearing an outfit like this. So I wanted to create something that was a little bit more toned down with what I have. I decided to style my outfit around this particular knit. This is a really vibrant magenta pink 
knit from Suzanne. I decided to style it with some purple shorts. These are a slightly darker indigo shade, but they definitely have a purple undertone and I felt like this would be a cute pairing together. To finish off the look, I decided to pair the purple with green. I feel like this green bag really finishes off this look because it's so vibrant and I love the way the green looks with the purple. I would have also loved to have some green shoes maybe, but that just isn't an item that's in my wardrobe. So I just finished it off with some nude sandals. I feel like a pop of colour on the shoe would have been lovely as well. I feel like this is a really bold and colourful look, but it works really well together because green and this violet colour are actually kind of on opposite sides of the colour wheel, so they're complementary colours that just work really nicely together. We're also only working with three colours. I mean, we've got the green, we've got the magenta purple colour, and then we've just got some nude on the sandal, which almost just disappears. So we're not working with too many colours and it's really easy to match together. In my sixth outfit, I wanted to refer to these two photos, restyling a yellow dress or a yellow lime dress. When I was looking at the photos, I immediately thought of this particular dress that I own. In the inspiration picture of the yellow dress, I really like her straw bag and that's what kind of caught my attention. I also thought that it looked almost identical to the one that I recently decided to pick up. So I thought I could restyle my yellow dress in a way that is a little bit different to how I've styled it in the past. I think something as simple as changing up the bag really made this outfit look a lot more casual than how I may have normally worn it with some of my other bags and even my other straw bag which is more handheld I feel like it looks a lot more dressy compared to the way this kind of just hangs on the shoulder really subtle differences but I do feel like it gives this outfit a different vibe in my second outfit I really like the fact that she styled the lime green dress with black accessories I have said this in the past video but I have been loving black sandals with my summery dresses. I really like this combination where it toughens up the look a little bit. So I copied this outfit by styling the yellow dress with some black sandals, which I have done before in a previous video. But I also like the fact that she wore it with a white bag, which is just a little bit unexpected because she's got on the black sandals. Her bag is a little bit iridescent white, which is very specific and I don't have. So I just went for a white Pauline bag and I really like this combination, which I probably wouldn't have worn otherwise because with black accessories, I would have just opted for a black bag. Otherwise, I might have opted for a nude bag. But I feel like the white color makes this outfit feel a little bit more fresh and fun than what I would normally reach for. I feel like when we re-wear our existing clothes, they don't always have to be like revolutionary, mind-blowing new outfits. But even subtle changes like this, I feel like can give a very different look to how we normally wear it. In outfit 7, I was looking for inspo on how to style denim in the summertime. I really wanted to reach for these wider jeans I have from Levi's because I feel like they're the perfect summer jean. I love these jeans when they're paired with something a bit more dainty on top. And in the summer, we can always reach for something lacy and kind of cute on the top and reach for these wider baggier jeans. Whereas in the winter, it's kind of harder to do that because we have to lay it up. So these are jeans that I feel like are better for summer than they are winter. Anyways, um, onto the inspiration photo. I really like this outfit of this girl where she wears a black cami tucked into a looser pair of jeans and then she's got a little jacket or um, shirt thrown over the top. This outfit doesn't feel that summery so I wanted to update it for the summer. So in my outfit, I went for a very similar cami to what she has on in the photo, tucked into a pair of lighter blue jeans that are super wide. And then I also went for some colourful accessories such as a really fun yellow earring in the outfit. I feel like these details make the outfit a little bit more summery compared to the inspo pick which is what I was trying to go for. You'll see in the cutaways that my jeans look kind of weird at the clasp and that's just because they are a little bit too big for me now and I've just kind of done a DIY in the meantime to make them fit a little bit better. In outfit 8, I feel super inspired by the inspo pick where she has on a darker outfit but it still looks very summery. I think that if you add a bit of a straw detailing to any outfit, it will instantly give it a bit more of a summer vibe. I got this outfit maybe two or three years ago now at a sample sale. So I had to line up for ages, um, try on a bunch of things in this little warehouse in Paddington. If you're in Sydney, you'll know those sales that happen. And I decided to go with this set. So it's from the brand So The Label. I just haven't worn it as much as, as I would have liked. So um, I decided to style this set up because it's a little bit similar to the inspo pick because it's got the polka dots and it's on a darker navy base. It's also quite long, similar to what she has in the outfit. Even though she's wearing black sneakers in the outfit, I could have worn my black Converse shoes to recreate this look. My Converse shoes are quite flat, so I decided to go for a black sandal instead. And even though the sandal is quite chunky, it's got a little bit of height. 
um, which makes a big difference with an outfit like this because it is already long to begin with. When the summertime comes around in Sydney, which, you know, we're like six months away, I would definitely wear this look. In outfit 9, I decided to style a midi skirt, which surprise surprise is in this video. I have a couple of midi skirts in my wardrobe that I just keep on wearing. I could style them in hundreds of ways. So I wanted to take my least worn midi skirt and create a new outfit. This is the midi skirt I'm talking about. It's a really beautiful red midi skirt. And every time I put this on, I fall absolutely in love with it. Every time I take it off and put it into my wardrobe, I kind of just forget about it. In my inspo pic, she's got on a white long sleeve top. She's tucked it into the red skirt. And then she also has a little bit of a straw bag and tan sandals. It's a very classic summer outfit, but there's something about the details that I really like in this look. Because the color of this skirt is so loud, and because the print is actually quite large as well, I always like to pair it with slightly more classic items. So I decided to go for this linen top I had from Faithful. This is something that I wear all the time, and I really like this shirt detailing on it. The main reason why I actually decided to go for this top is because it's in a linen material and it's got that beautiful natural kind of texture to it which for some reason I just think looks really good with this red skirt. This skirt is a viscose material but for some reason I really don't like wearing it with silk pieces or viscose pieces because I honestly think it looks a little bit cheap whereas pairing it with the natural kind of linen texture I feel like really elevates the look of the skirt. It seems silly because it's so small but I really think that it makes a huge difference to how I feel about this piece. And not surprisingly, adding in the straw bag again just makes this outfit feel a little bit more natural and light for the summer. The closest colored sandals I had were my ones from St. Agni, and I really like the sandals as well. They kind of just blend into the outfit really seamlessly. In this video, this is one of the outfits that I'm most excited about because I like this skirt, I just don't wear it enough, and this is a really nice outfit that I would definitely wear in the summertime. In my last and final outfit, I wanted to show a few outfit inspirations where they style a bunch of neutral tones together. With these neutral tones, they're all quite light in the scheme. So a lot of nude, beige, cream colors that are paired together. And I really like the lightness of these outfits. As I was putting together this outfit, I realized in my wardrobe, even though I have so many white tops, I don't have a lot of cream nude beige tones, which is something I definitely wanted to make a note of and keep in mind for the future. So I decided just to go for my AJE top, which is in an off-white color, and I wear it with a pair of cream trousers from Andavasori's. These two pieces are pretty typical items I've worn. I don't think I've worn them together, but I've definitely worn these pieces a lot lately. I also pair it with my little Celine bag, which is in a taupey beige color, and then my nude sandals, which is in a slightly more pinky tone. I like this last outfit, but I definitely would have loved to see a few more darker tones in the look that I created to stop it from feeling as monochromatic as it is, where it feels like cream head to toe. So that's something I'm definitely keeping in mind. And I do actually have a video on how to style neutrals coming up. So I will definitely be experimenting a little bit more in that video. Those are all my outfit ideas for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As you can probably tell throughout the video, we are filming in a new spot today. So thank you for putting up with me as I work out the sound, as well as the lighting situation in here. If you guys enjoyed this video, I have a ton of other videos on my YouTube channel where I share a few different style tips as well as just lots of outfit ideas. And for anyone who follows me on Instagram, you might have noticed I am doing a lot more outfit ideas and reels over there as well. So if you're interested in that, check it out. I'll have a link down below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you soon. Bye.